this is the last place I expected to be, but maybe this cowardly guy is the key to defeating the Mogs. I don't, I don't know. Let's see, is there anything up here? Anything? Oh, oh. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Oh, oh, oh. Same thing with the knife. You, you are, tr you are trouble. Eh, my kind of trouble though. All right. Is that it? That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Didn't even think about that. All right, guess we're going down. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was mistaken. I don't know how this guy's gonna help me. He is super paranoid about something. Hello? Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay, I forgive you. Um, okay, I forgive you. Oh, really? Great. Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. I'm, I'm sorry, Curtis. The lumberjack is afraid of trees? Why? Another colorful member of this cast of characters. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut them down then. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough, but the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Hold on, I think I know this voice. Is that, is that you, William H.W. Augustus Howard Taft Wheaton? Is that, I think it is. I think it's Will Wheaton. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Oh yeah, weapon? Good a idea. weapon Good to idea. kill Mabchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. I don't, I don't, you really like stools, don't you? So yeah, listen about that mess upstairs. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Yep, yep, that's what happened. Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Oh yeah, no, I can tell. Your love of stools says a lot. So will you help me? Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Mog Chathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Mog Chathra. Damn it, well, all right. A stool then? Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. <laughs> okay, so I have an axe. I guess I'll get that. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. All right, I have an axe. So what, I have, I have these shoes, I have the glass, I have an axe, I have fruit. What was this? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Well, uh, all right, fine. Figure we know him enough. Nothing else to mess with. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. I will, I will avoid him, although I have an ax. And really, I have no Wait. fear. East? Or was it west? Oh, great. Meh. Must not be that territorial. Do I have options of where to go? No, I guess I can... I'm going this way. Can I click the mailbox? Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Alright, anything over here? Whole bunch of nothing. Alright. Ooh! 
whole bunch of possibilities, maybe. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? There's a horn hmm. here? They don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, is this east or west? Oh, God, hey, Snake! Hey! Uh, uh, let go! Can't breathe. Oh, boy. This is tight. Oh, probably should blow on that. I thought it was. <laughs> thought something was gonna happen. That's convenient. Okay, so do not go that way. Got well, it. I wanted to see what would happen. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I wanted to know what was gonna happen over there. All right. So I assume this way we're looking for the tree. There are trees. What kind of tree am I looking for? That would be the kind of tree. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. So... It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Hold on, does it want me to use the axe to make it... I have a it feeling I might regret this. ...have a mouth? Oh, oh, murderer! Axe-wheeling psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! I even gave him a mouth! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! <laughs> murderer! <laughs> Just can't win trees over. It's like M. Night Shyamalan up in here. Please stop screaming. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest. Yeah, no, look, hey, um, Curtis sent me peace. I'm peace. here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce mining her own branches. Then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh God! If I say it, I think I might be sick. A stool? Was was she a stool? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He he butchered her, turned her into a a stool. Called it. Oh God! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. But your throw up is sap, sweet, delicious sap. I don't know if that's disgusting or delicious. I assume delicious. I said delicious four times now. I think I just want pancakes, is what I'm saying. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. Uh, are you magic? I mean, how are you talking? Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. I mean, you got you got a little on the corner of your mouth. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, he is. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Interesting. I've never seen a talking tree before while I try to come up with a way to get you to puke so I can have your sap. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Hmm. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. All right. I guess I'm going back. We'll see, we'll see what uh, this peace treaty got me, if anything. Don't know that that was even a treaty. I got yelled at. So. Hi. Hey, Vela. Hmm. Hey, about this art. Yeah. Oh, oh, now I can ask him about it? Okay, what is it? What is it? Well. You know, 
It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Can can I have it? Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. <laughs> oh well, then where did you get it? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. <laughs> Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? Aren't you sure. bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Art slam! Will Wheaton just art slammed you, girl. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. <laughs> sure, all right. Uh, so he's not gonna make me anything except for a stool. I need wood, and I can't get wood because I... Catch you later, Curtis. Can't cook down that Beware damn tree. Beware the trees. Yeah, I know, but I can't get this now. That's good. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. I'm not even sure he's a lumberjack. I think he's just a hipster. Did I end up in Oregon? Is that where I'm, am I in Portland right now? Okay. So we got that. Can I go? Can I go beyond the tree? You're just gonna yell at me. There's probably stuff past him, maybe. All right, we'll go this way. Hello, annoying tree. Goodbye, annoying tree. Hello, oh, Shellmound. Shellmound. Yeah. Looks like Mob Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Okay. Watch out for the crosswind. Hey, oh, what is that down there? Balance. That is a big vat of bloody Courage fish. Okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, let's try it there. Oh, driftwood. Right. So let's smooth. Oh, okay. And, oh, can I? Why would I want to? I'm doing it. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. One, what about the fishing stuff? These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Who steals? Oh, probably that girl over there. All right. So these are the sacrifices, huh? Great. Okay. Sir, I need to talk with you. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because, you know, you you look like a mayor. Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune. A humble man of the people, for now. Alright, well, I need to... I don't know that I want to enter the Maiden's Feast. I was looking for, I want to kill Mog Chopper, instead I get... Entering the... Hmm. Let's ask him about the mayor thing first. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Oh, is that that big crane bucket in the background? Uh, hmm. When is Mog Chothra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. I need to enter the feast. Oh, is that how I'm going to trick him somehow to kill him? We're walking down the path to Crazy Town, girl. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Oh, I smell bad? Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. <laughs> Very nice. 
But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Grandmas always smell the best. True, true story. Said nobody ever. Okay. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There, I mean, there has to be a feast though, right? There has to be a maiden's feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he mm -hmm, comes here and mm -hmm. sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. I mean, passing you by doesn't seem bad. Oh, the people of this world are insane. Okay, what about, yeah, what about that bucket on your head? Wait, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Certainly not. Probably it's an said, integral please. part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Uh, can I hey, please have it? About your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. <laughs> okay, why do you build the offering? Yeah. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. All right. I mean, that seems like an obvious answer. Okay, hey, so... about your bucket hat. What? What about it? What if I just say... Oh, yeah, what a dummy. It looks terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist or a girl wearing half a dress? Really? Thought hey, that would have done it. About your bucket hat. What? What about it? Only one more option. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Done. Done. All Thank right. you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. I just cost someone their job. <laughs> but I did get a bucket, which I believe can be used to collect sap. Somehow. Let's go back. See if I can make that guy puke and get the sap. Hey there, friend. How you doing? Alright. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. All right, all right, then, bucket. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Is that gonna do anything? No, son of a, okay. I think I know what I have to do. I think I got it figured out, watch this. I found some wood. Hopefully he can make something out of it. I take the wood back, and then I give Will Wheaton here this. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, right. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. <sighs> no problem. I like to spread my samples around. Watch this. I take the stool, go back to this guy, show him the stool, and he'll lose his mind. Oh, that was easy to figure out. Okay. Still not really sure what to do with that glass or the fruit that I have. A lot, of, a lot of things I, I have that I don't know what to do with. But you know what? I know what to do with this. That's all that matters, man. And I have a stool. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god. Is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer oh of the god. wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. Before he begins the deep 
carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! That was awesome. Disgusting, but entirely awesome. I'm so sorry, tree. I'm so sorry. All right, well, I have sap now. So what the hell do I do with sap? No, okay. my right. Birds, can I click any of you? Can you hear me up there? Got everything I needed from, from that guy. Uh, okay, now flip it do I have anything that can go it. with this? Sap doesn't make any sense with it. A stool? Whatever okay, the hell that little thing is. Like a little leap. fetish doll. I don't even... Okay. Let's just go over here and we'll talk to these girls. Hello, ladies. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? <laughs> okay, then. Um, I want to be in your feast, too. I want to be in the maidens feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Okay, is that a perfume bottle? Can I have some of that? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible I'm to sorry, moms. What? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, it's called Beast Hooker? Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? <laughs> That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> sorry. It's her secret sauce. That woman's secret sauce is called Beast Hooker. I just... Just, just want a little squirt. Come on, ladies. How about just one little squirt? Sorry, if I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Okay. Uh, nice costumes, ladies. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. I don't know if that's the case, but okay. Yeah, isn't someone going to miss those hooks? Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I both love and hate both of you. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha, not half as hard as I'm going to kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. O-M-G, ladies. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't going to get the offering arena ready before Mog Chothra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you? Yeah, don't you wonder if there's another way? Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Ciao, ladies! Okay. Well, that got me nowhere, but I know that now I need the perfume. How do I get it? Does any of this get it for me? I don't know that sap or shoes or food would help. All right, let's go up this way. Oh, I can. Okay. What the hell is this? Advertise like shameless whores. <laughs>